When you analyze data using a pivot chart, you must pay close attention to the individual values in your data sets. Even so, it's usually beneficial to take a step back and look at the overall trends in your data. You can enhance your analysis by projecting future values, assuming current trends stay constant, by adding a trend line to your pivot chart. In this movie, I will demonstrate how to add a trend line to a pivot chart. My sample file is trendline0607, and you can find it in the Chapter 6 folder of your exercise files collection. This workbook has a pivot table and an associated pivot chart on sheet 1. And you can see that I have date of purchase, providing values for the row area, and then sum of quantity in the values area. The summary within the body of the pivot chart that you see here, and also within the pivot table, is pretty boring. It just shows an increase from one year to the next. And if I were to create a trend line based on that data, it would just go up at exactly the same angle. So let's go down to a little bit lower level of detail in the dates. And here's where having a pivot chart and a pivot table on the same worksheet really helps. If you look at the pivot table, you'll see that because there's a built-in date hierarchy, which I describe elsewhere in the course, you have 2017 that has a show detail button next to it, and the same for 2018. If I click the show detail button next to 2017, which I'll do here, you see that it goes down to the next level of detail, which is quarter. If I wanted, I could also go down to month by clicking a show detail button next to a quarter, but in this case I don't, I'll just go back to quarters. And I'll do the same thing for 2018. I'll click the show detail button there. So now you see that I have my data broken down by year and quarters within the year, so I have a bit more of a meaningful trend. Now if I want to add a trend line, the data will be analyzed at that level instead of just going year to year. To add a trend line, I will click the pivot chart, and then at the top right corner of the chart, there is the chart elements button, which I'll click, and then I'll go down to trend line, and you see that the basic trend line, which is just the best linear fit for the data I have appears. However, if I click the right pointing triangle, I can have linear, exponential, linear forecast, or more options. First thing I'll do is hover over linear forecast, and you see that we have a forecast that is put two quarters or two periods into the future. If I want even more control, I can click more options, and the format trend line task pane appears. And here I can select the trend line type. Unless you're told differently, always assume linear data. And then I can go down and I can forecast forward or backward. So let's say that I want to forecast an entire year. That would be four quarters or four periods. So I will change the value in the forward box so that it's four, press enter, and then I will close the format trend line task pane by clicking this close button and I'll resize the pivot chart so we have a little bit more detail. When you're done with your trend line, you can click the chart elements button again and I resize the pivot chart so that it was displayed and clear the trend line checkbox. And when you do, the trend line goes away and your pivot chart is restored to its normal size.